Hello everybody. Today's video is just a quick technique to hopefully improve your chances of getting woodpecker photos. If I've done the first bit of the video how I wanted to, I have shown you all the prep work that's gone into this. Now all you really need is an area where woodpeckers come to feeders. They usually come to peanut feeders. That can either be your own garden or if, like me, you've been incredibly lucky and you know some very nice people from your local village that let you come in and around their farm. I mean, this is their house literally just here. Um, but they get woodpeckers that come daily onto their, um, onto their peanut feeders here. So I'll just quickly show you how I've set up. So, as you can see, I've set up peanut feeders here. I've taken down all of the rest of the food. There's quite a few um, feeders that are around here. Taken them all down, so we've just got these. And then we've got the log where, hopefully, the woodpecker or woodpeckers will land. If it's your own garden, you can essentially train the woodpeckers to figure out that there's going to be food that you've drilled into here. But seeing as this is not my own garden, I've not been here for the last few weeks. Um, I will put some food in here, but the main thing will be here. So the advantage of having food in here is that they will stay pretty much exactly where you want to, to photograph them. But even if you don't have food in here and you've got the peanuts here, they will come in and land on something before going to the peanuts. So you'll at least get the time where they have landed on here. Sometimes they will see that there's food in there, but they'll they'll probably go onto here. So yeah, essentially it's a technique to get very natural looking photos in probably as controlled an environment as you can get with um, wildlife photography. So yeah, I'm gonna get into the hide now. It's gonna be very much like my Kingfisher um, video where you essentially just sit in the chair hide and wait for things to happen. Easy. Right, well, I'm in my hide now. I've just got my camera set up on a tripod, pointed pretty much exactly where I want the, the woodpeckers to land. It's not ideal here because there is a, um, a wooden fence, I don't know, about five or six metres behind the log that I've put up, which does mean if the woodpecker lands in certain places, then that will be in the background. There is, of course, a few things you can do to negate that in post-processing. I mean, in a, yes, in an ideal world, that wouldn't be there, but when it comes to wildlife photography, beggars can't be choosers, and the woodpeckers come here on a pretty damn regular occurrence. The other thing with this sort of photography is, obviously because we're working with bird feeders, it's not just going to be um, woodpeckers or whatever bird you want to attract that comes down. At the moment here we're getting blue tits and great tits coming in pretty much every 15-20 seconds. Um, which means that it gives you time to practice with composition, um, your technique with being able to get get the bird sharp. So yeah, let's just see what we can get and I'll, uh, I'll show you the results. Oh, well, there you go. We've just had a, uh, a male great spotted woodpecker come in. You can tell it's male because it has a red patch at the back here. Um, the female great spotted woodpeckers just have pure black head. Um, and then confusingly, juveniles, be it male or female, would have a red crown. Um, so there you go, that's how you distinguish between the great spotted woodpeckers. Whilst we're waiting for, hopefully, another woodpecker to turn up, um, I remembered I've used this technique pretty successfully about two years ago now, um, in the snow at this same location, and I got 
possibly my favourite woodpecker shots that I've ever got. So I'll use this opportunity to show you those now. was a, a female great spotted woodpecker so I've actually been able to show you the differences just there and then um, for some reason that one was a lot more wary I'd stay very still in my hide until it eventually came down to the log um, but once they start feeding they <laughs> they pretty much forget that there's anything else going on apart from food right in front of them um, so yeah there you go, I think I'm probably going to leave it here Hopefully you can get some, some inspiration from that and get some woodpecker photos for yourself. Um, yeah, all you need really is a perch, peanuts, and somewhere reliable where woodpeckers uh, will end up going to those peanuts. It's a nice one. I'll, uh, I'll leave it there and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>